know that feeling you get when you sit down at a restaurant and you get a beautiful plate of food in front of you and you start to smell it and your stomach starts to grumble and you get that wetness taste in your mouth, almost like you're about to throw up, you know that feeling? <laughs> well, you see, I get that, that feeling at the dinner table, but I also get that feeling when I walk into a donut shop. I love donuts, and I love donuts not only for their variety, like you see in this image, but I love donuts because they kind of have a complicated history, and they're also all over the world. There's something sort of unite us that, that are all over the places. Um, donuts were first probably invented by the Dutch. They were called Olix. They were a sweet dough that were fried and very oily. But Americans can be credited for the modern donuts. We can take some pride in, in owning the modern donut. How many think that you spell the word donut in the first one, and how many you think you spell the word donut on the second one? If I told you that you were both right, would you be surprised? No. Okay, well, sorry. <laughs> but they're both right. There are some also interesting facts about donuts. First of all, the donut hole wasn't invented to eat. It was invented so that the donut could cook evenly all around. I would probably like to be born in Canada if I was ever born again, because they have the most donut shops per capita. But here in the United States, we have a rich donut tradition as well. We eat almost 10 billion donuts a year. I probably eat 10% of that. <laughs> There's a lot of regional variations, too. In New Orleans, you have the beignet. In Chicago, you can get Poland, Polish donuts, which are a little bit more dense. And all over the world, there are different types of do donuts. You can get different sweet types in Spain, savory versions in Finland. And if you go to Japan, don't ask for un-donut, because that literally translates to a red bean paste donut. Not so good. My history with donuts begins very early, and it stems from my father, because every single morning, when I, when I, as a child and when I got older, we would go to a place called RB Donuts in my hometown of San Diego. And RB Donuts was my favorite place. They have the best maple bars in the world. And I, my dad would get coffee and maybe a pastry, and I would get donuts every single morning. Okay. But I was spoiled growing up next to this shop, because what I realized is there are some things that are, are bad donuts out there, and I want to tell you some of the signs of a bad donut, right? <laughs> and literally, the first of those signs is signage, which should pop up in a second. But if you ever see these particular signs, these are not good donuts. <laughs> these are mass-produced, they're on convection lines, they always have them, you go in, you can get whatever you need, whenever you want. That's not a proper donut shop. If you get in the shop and you see a conveyor belt or you see a, a drink called a culotta, that <laughs> probably means that they're not focused on the donuts. So if you're looking for signs, if you're, if, now you're asking yourself, what are the signs of a good donut? Well, here's five. Asian mom and pop shop. Old Spanish or Mexican ladies. Donuts that are made on location if they have limited stock and if there's a line out the door. That probably means they're good donuts. So, where do you find these donuts? Well, there's a variety of locations all over the world. And when I, was, when I grew up, I was lucky enough to travel and also come here to Arizona to go attend college down at U of A. And what I realized was that there are good donuts all over the world. In New York, if you ever head to New York, in Chinatown, there's a place called Donut Plant. It is amazing. They use or as many organic ingredients as possible. They have a donut that's made with fresh strawberry chunks in the glaze. So good, right? <laughs> my, family, my family is from England, and in the place in England, the East Midlands, it's in the Pennine Chains in the mountain in the middle. There's a, about five shops called Bird's Confectioners, and they make traditional English donuts, which is, the, which is a sugar donut with cream and a little bit of jam. In Portland is Voodoo Donuts, and that is a maple bar with maple bacon, people. I mean, does it doesn't get any better. They also have donuts called the Triple Chocolate Penetration, and the gay bar, which is a maple bar with Fruit Loops on top. <laughs> now in Phoenix, talking about local, back to Kimber, we have great donuts too. One of my favorites is, in, is Lamar's. It's in the West Valley, so I don't get to visit a lot. But also locally, yeah, Lamar's is awesome. Also locally, we have Ranch Market. They have five locations. Their donuts are a little, little bit more savory, a little bit less sweet. And around here in Chandler and Tempe area, we have Bosa Donuts. There's two locations. Great family location. Go and try their donuts. Now, if you ever find a good donut all over the world, my Twitter handle is right there. I would love to know about it, because I will likely go visit. And I have some donuts during the after show, so come visit me. Thank you.